guys, this is Greg Siegel from Codable, and today we're going to be talking about sidejacking. So the first thing you want to do is open up CMD, and you want to access your hamster and ferret files. You can download, download these at the link below, which I will give you. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go over to your access your desktop by typing CD desktop, and you want to access the folder you've kept your pieces of software in. So I went CD hamster as I named my folder hamster. After you've done that, you want to type in ferret dash w. Uh, this will allow you to access the piece of software um, ferret. Once you type in ferret dash i1, um, it will allow you to access and start up the actual program ferret. What this does is it sniffs the network, your specific network, for any traffic that's coming in. So if you've got anyone in your local area going on their internet connection that's accessing your Wi-Fi port, then you'll be able to see what they're doing. For this test, I'm going to be showing myself going on the internet, um, as I don't have another computer around me that I can access uh, or, uh, the internet. So, um, this is what's going to happen. Uh, this would be the next person, person accessing the internet. Uh, say they're going on Google, um, and they type in Facebook, and they go on their Facebook account. Then what will happen is that you'll see that Ferret is going haywire in the background and it's access accessing all the different pieces of data um, in the background. Um, so the more sites you go on, then obviously you can see it's still streaming. And it's getting, gathering up all the information, all the cookies that are passing through your router, um, through your internet connection, and it's gathering that information. So um, I'm just accessing a few more websites, and once that's done, then we can access Hamster. So we do exactly the same process and go to CD Desktop, which is accessing our desktop, and then we're going to access the same folder, Hamster, and then what we want to do there is type in Hamster, and this will access the Hamster uh, piece of software. And what this does, where, where Ferret um, sniffs the network, Hamster takes that um, sniffing takes all the information that ferrets gathered and puts it in a nice graphical um, content package where you can actually see what's going on. And what you have to do to access this information is go to your um, Mozilla Firefox uh, internet browser and go to Tools. And once you've done that, then you want to go to Options, as you can see there. Um, once you've done that, you need to go into your settings, uh, connection settings, um, and then go to, from non-proxy, you want to go to manual proxy, and you want to type in the HTTP proxy of 127.0.0.1, and then the port of 3128. Once you've done that, you can press OK. And then all you have to do is go over to the URL bar and type in hamster. And here we go. What what Hamster does is it, as I said before, is it takes all the information and shows you all the cookies that Ferret has gathered. As you can see here, there's a lot of them, um, and these are all uh, from different sessions as well as the sessions we've seen today. That, um, as you can see, there's Facebook, um, and there was a. Uh, Lots of these are all the cookies that it's gathered. So it's gathered all the information and then you can view what's been going on. So to conclude, what happens is that you download Ferret off the internet, which I'll give you the link below. That's the first step. Then you go onto your um, machine, you go onto your computer, and you go to CMD and you access Ferret, as shown before. After you've done that, then you, the person or yourself accesses to the internet connection goes onto different websites, Ferret will then gather all that information that's been uh, go going through the network. And then what that, once that happens, then what you want to do is access Hamster, uh, same as, as you accessed Ferret, um, by going into the de uh, your desktop or where you've kept the folder and then going into the folder and then accessing Hamster. And once that's done, uh, then the final step is to change your um, proxy settings and your um, port settings 
and then after that then you just have to go into the URL bar and type in hamster and then you can access the little web GUI uh, that hamster gives you. So it's really simple, uh, really easy to understand. I've shown you the steps before so uh, hopefully you found this useful uh, and I hope you, hopefully you'll uh, put it into good use. So that was our video on sidejacking. There'll be more hacking or um, network security videos coming soon and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for listening.